Hey, welcome back. We're moving with Texas All Water Fishing. And, well, you know, I had to reintroduce the intro on this video now. I made this video well over a week ago. And yesterday there was an email sent out from Texas Park and Wildlife. Now, I forwarded this email to a few people I know in Texas Park and Wildlife to ask them a few questions. Now, we'll switch over to the PC real fast and we'll check this email out before we get to catching some flounder all right so texas park and wildlife you can see the emo address or the the address that it comes from right here texas park and wildlife there's a bulletin so if you sign up for texas park and wildlife emails subscription they will send you emails of giving you any kind of notice or when something changes says just like this here it shows you it's time to catch rainbow trout which is great if you are interested in seeing what ponds are being stocked during the rainbow trout release but right here right under red snapper and flounder temporary changes all right there's talking about red snapper but this is not why i'm on here it's the flounder the flounder season is temporary closed from november 1st through december 14th we already knew that see the season is closed you can't keep any fish any flounder during this time but from my understanding and talking to Texas Park and Wildlife officials, you can still keep, you can still, you can still catch flounder. It's okay to catch and release. Um, in my mind, it's okay to target them. It's still okay to go fish those flounder runs, which I have been doing. Uh, this video is one of three videos that I recorded prior to yesterday. Now, this email was sent out yesterday morning. So prior to that, this video and two other videos. I recorded and I was on the water. Now, it says flounder season is temporarily closed between November 1st through December 14th to allow the species to recover. You may not catch flounder by any means during this time. <laughs> so, so much for catch and releasing. It's this reads that you can't catch flounder. Now, I know people are going to say, well, you can't help it if they bite because I've said it. But in my mind, this states that you can't target them. So from yesterday, November 17th, when this was sent out, November 17th, 6 a.m., from yesterday morning to through December 14th, you can no longer target flounder. That's what this is reading to me. Now I forward this email hoping to get some kind of clarification i sent it out last night so i haven't heard back from them yet so as soon as i know i'll let you guys know but like i said this video was recorded well over a week ago i have two more videos coming out where i am fishing with my friends targeting flounder and the that videos that footage was done before this email was sent out before this information was sent out to the public i wouldn't i do not do anything illegal on this channel. I stay within regulations and rules and laws and my own personal morals. I don't live outside of that. So I don't know what to say. You know, I'm kind of kind of shocked that this information was sent out um, because catch and release in my mind, unless you just absolutely gut hook a fish, there's there's no real harm or damage you're doing to the species. Um, the only thing I could think of is that they're just Texas Park and Wildlife. The game wardens are catching a tremendous amount of number of people who are not only catching or releasing or not only targeting flounder, but keeping them. It's the only thing I could think of. But hey, you know, in this video, I went and target flounder. I went out with a friend of mine. You know, I love catching flounder. It's my favorite fish to fish for, and I really enjoy catching them, especially during this time of the year because you can catch you can catch so many of them. So, um, love filling the fight, love catching the flatties, love watching them swim away. I really enjoy releasing fish. You know me, I'm, I'm not a I don't eat seafood. I don't I'm not really into big and keeping fish. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for the lengthy. The, the length of this intro, I just wanted to clarify that. Hopefully, I will hear back from 
Texas Park and Wildlife, and I'll be able to fill you guys in. Uh, follow me on my other social media platforms. Probably where I'll be. That probably will be where I will first release that information as soon as I get it back. Um, the questions that I have from Texas Park and Wildlife. But hey, thanks for coming back. Hope you enjoy this video. Gonna make it? It might be under. Let's see what he. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh damn! Barely, Fifteen and a half. Barely, barely, barely. Hey. Let's revive him. So Jose, that's your third one today. I'm still batting over. Oh no. I got a. I got gotta, zero. Got to catch up. Golly. Got so can I? One for the home so, team. Can I start using a hook now? Yeah. I just have this gulp tied onto my line. <laughs> well, start using a hook now. Gave you a head start. No, they're just acting weird today. Just, yeah. Oh, there's there's nothing. That's not nothing. That's a rock, I they're think. Giving us, they're giving us a, a fight for our money today. Just, yeah, see, that was more, just more like scattered around. Yeah, I don't understand. Yesterday, everybody killed it. We're day late. Usually they're all concentrated in one area. Today yeah. we're kind of having to hunt and search for them. You might have something here. There we go. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this net. is a good one. Yeah. Get the net. I think so. Ugh. Oh yeah, he's a good one. He's pulling. Ooh. He's pulling drag. That other one. He, he's a. He's pulling drag. He might not be that big, but he definitely felt heavy. Look at that bowl. Is that a 20 incher? No, I don't think it's that big. It's a 20 incher. Yes, it's a 20 incher. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's probably going to be 17. Yeah, he's probably close to 17. Bring him here. Bring him here. Bring him here. There we go. Ooh, it's job. heavy, though. I like the heavy, big girls. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. He just kind of just held on. I thought I was kind of stuck on the rock for a second. And ended up being this nice, nice big guy. Or big girl, rather. But nice big flatty. She's going to come in at, oh, 19 it? and almost a quarter. I guess our eyes received us. 19 and a quarter right here. 19 and a quarter. No. <laughs> <laughs> that big old boat, man, those waves. Yeah, this guy's gonna be undersized, I think. We're gonna measure it just for fun now that's a hook set look at that hook set look at that hook set all the way through all the way through there we go fourteen fourteen and a half you got one oh yeah here we go another one. Oh yeah another loose little, little guy jose has a nice one on Big one. Here we go, ready? Yeah. Go. 
Come back up. There you go. Oh Ooh. yes. I don't want to hit your line with the with the net, so. It's a big girl. It is a big girl. We'll get this girl. She fell, she fell. This baby back in the water. Holy moly. Eight. Oh, yeah. Right on 18. 18. Yep. There we go. <laughs> Next cast, next cast right after you, Jose. You got two in a row, Dude, and I got one. We found them, boys. That's a nice one. Here, let me get it for you. We found them, boys. Ooh. Oh, we saw the net. Yep, saw that net. Here you go, bring them up. There. Oh. I can't see the boat's in the way. There we go. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, once you can find them, that's true. A lot of times, all it takes is a is a couple is one or two casts, and they can find where they're at, and then they'll be stacked up. So, and that's the that's the case right here. Get another hook set straight through the jaw. There we go. She's off. She's nice curved to her too. Is a nice girl. Come on. Nice big, nice big curve. Should be right at 17. Good. Right at 17. Pretty girl. Nice curve to her. She got a nice curve. I'm gonna let her slide off. And she gone. All right, everybody. So that's gonna do it. You know, I came out today with Captain Jose again. You know, we came out looking for some flounder, fishing some flatties, and it was a bit of a grind. I mean, it took a long time to really get on them. We really never did until late afternoon. You know, I'm not too sure what is going on with the bite. I don't know if we need another cold front or, or what's really going on. We had an outgoing tide all day, so maybe that had something to do with it. But it was, it, I think it was moving, the tide moving pretty good, so. But I don't know, how many how many slot you think you caught today, Jose? Uh, it was rough today. I think we might have caught three three slots <laughs> yeah it was rough we had we really had to grind out for to find them yeah i mean although i did get a real nice one it was about 19 inches but other than that you know we we put a lot of a lot of miles on the boat today and a lot of standing around a lot of casting a lot of casting today but you know what that happens you know as long as we get on the water as long as you get on the water that's what really counts and um but hey i hope you enjoyed this video if you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. Push the bell notification. It will let you know next time I upload a video. Until next time, hopefully you catch me. Hook it up. Thanks.